hello guys and welcome back to my channel you guys already know that anytime i'm in the kitchen that simply means i'm about to cook something and so guys the thing is that during my early days on youtube there was this sauce that i was partially making one time okay and a lot of people started asking me to make a video of how um i make the sauce in the comment section so in today's episode hmm, I want to show you guys how to make this local sauce that I enjoy so much. It's local sauce because everything I use in the sauce is local, like literally local. There is nothing foreign in this sauce, okay? So if you want to learn how to make this my local sauce, you have to follow up with my step, okay? It's local, native, and local. Let me just put it like that. So if you're a local person like me and you want to learn how to make this delicious local sauce, that I know that you're going to love and elderly people around you are going to love and it's highly medicinal, okay? So if you want to learn how to make it, just sit back, relax and I will be right. I want to start by showing you guys the ingredients I'll be using for this my local sauce, okay? Here is my opaka, oba. Some people call it oba, some people call it opaka. I don't know what people call it in your um, in your village so you can mention it in the comment section and this is my onions that I have already sliced and this is pepper don't mind the way it's looking because I just brought it out from the freezer and this is my ogilibu ogilibu this one is special order from my mom specially brought to me by my mom okay this is my own local seasoning my maggi that I'll be using for this sauce and then this is salt then another vital ingredient that I'll be using is otazi leaf I don't know what it is called in your language but we call it otazi don't mind the way this one is looking because I bought it yesterday and of course you guys know that this is not the time for otazi okay so that's why it's looking this way but believe me everything that you still need in this otazi is still intact whether it is dry or fresh otazi is always otazi so now this is plantain this is on ripe plantain that i'll be using to you know dilute this sauce so i'll just like let me start by showing you guys the ingredients i'll be using for this delicious sauce and this is also my red oil this is the one i'll be using this is how i bought it from the market so i bring it out to you guys the way it is so this is another vital ingredient that you'll be needing to make this sauce so without wasting so much of your time let us quickly dive into the video you guys the first thing i'm going to do is to wash this plantain now and boil it until it is done okay so that's the first thing i'm going to do if i wash it and boil it then i will now um get into the process of making the sauce don't forget that you can also enjoy this sauce with rice you can enjoy it with yam you can enjoy it with anything at all so my father takes it with solid like swallow apple gari anything at all okay it's a very nutritious sauce so i'm going to be washing this now and then i'll put it in the pot and cook it for some time so you guys this is the most important part of this video i have wa properly washed my pepper and it's right inside the blender i am going to be blending all of these ingredients together the utazi the opaka or oba I don't know what this is called in I don't know what this is called in uh, English I think it's all you've been I don't know but I'll find out and attach it to the screen okay so I'm going to be blending four of these ingredients together remember that you can also blend your own with a mortar you must not use blender to blend it. you can also blend it in a mortar you can also pound it in a mortar to get this uh, smooth to get that smooth nature okay that you're going to be seeing shortly so let me go ahead and blend it so now I'm adding my utazi. So I just poured my utazi into the blender and then my opaka also into the blender. Now I'm going to be adding a little water to this, just a little water to this so that it can smoothly blend. Inside here you have this opaka, you have utazi and then you have fresh pepper. I'm going to be adding a little water to this, just little water, and then we blend it. As you can see, I still have my onion here because I'm not going to blend it alongside other ingredients. Cover this right now, and then blend. Nice. 
You can also add a little water when you blend and see that it's not giving you what you want. You still add your water. So this is how I love it to look like. This is what it looks like, okay? And my own, I love it to be this smooth, okay? Some people prefer the tiny particles of the oba and otazi to be seen. But me, I don't love it that way. I love to blend everything until it's smooth. So it all depends on you. You can blend my own way. You can also pound in the mortar and still have the tiny pieces visible in this sauce. And you can also blend a little and still have the tiny pieces visible in this sauce. So guys, I just put on fire on my gas and then I'm using my frying pan for this sauce. You can also use your pot, you can use anything you, you have, but me, I prefer to use frying pan. So I'm going to let all the water inside the pan dry up before I put my oil. Don't forget that your fire is going to be on low heat. So now that my frying pan is dried up, I'll go ahead and add my red oil to the pan to your desired quantity, any quantity you want it. And then I'm not going to allow this oil for so long. I'm going to go ahead and add my onions into the oil. And then I will stay to mix together with the oil. I'm going to allow this to fry a little before I begin to add other ingredients. When it fries a little, there is this aroma, there is this scent that you're going to perceive when the oil and onions fries for a little time. So I'm just going to allow it to fry a little time and then I'll begin to add other things to so it. So now that my oil and my onions has fried a little bit, I'm already perceiving that aroma. You guys, if you grew up in the village, you know that just this one alone with salt is enough enough sauce okay for yam roasted yam so without wasting further time i'm going to go ahead to add this my mixture okay this is my concussion to this sauce i bet you guys say eh, this my kitchen is already scented people in this compound are already perceiving this i'm trying to make sure i bring out everything from the blender Although I'm also going to get all these ones out, but first, let me bring out every single thing. Now, I'm going to mix this up. I'm going to mix this with the oil and... I'll allow this to cook for some time. If you are a native person, you can already see what we have here can you see so that? beautiful to behold but then when it enters your mouth mm, down to your stomach that is when you will understand what we are doing so here i have my ogribo i'm just going to go ahead and add this ogribo into this sauce and then i melt it with my spoon i melt it to mix with the sauce hey ogribo ogribo I'm also going to go ahead to add a little more oil because I love oil in my sauce. And then I stir all of them. You can also add Maggi if you want. But me, I am okay with this ogiri ibu. I'm okay with the ogiri. I'm going to go ahead and take the quantity of salt I'll be needing for this sauce. Mind you, remember that opaka, the oba is salty already naturally. So you mind the level of salt you add. And then you stay it. At this point, you guys, my kitchen is already filled with the aroma of this sauce. In fact, the entire compound is already filled with the aroma of this sauce. So you guys, at this point, my sauce is already, you know, ready. And the plantain is also ready. So I'm just going to go ahead and put off my light, the sauce is ready. Our plantain is ready. Hey, on apple pork. And then this is our sauce, okay? I'm just going to go ahead now and enjoy this delicacy. This is the final state of our food. You can see our sauce deliciously settling here. I decided to garnish it with a fish, and then this is my plantain. Mmm! 
time to enjoy time to enjoy let me go and enjoy myself hey guys, okay i'm done cooking and i am here to devour this food watch what we have here kele <laughs> wundi don't mind me don't be jealous this is how i balance you can see that i'm a rapper i chop up anything that will hold my waist come with me let's enjoy this food if you're hearing any sound it's the sound of the generator mm? so Mm. Mm -mm -mm. You will not understand. <laughs> you won't. Mm. I wish my dad is here. Food day yet. Hmm? This is typical local food. With this sauce, you can eat local rice. You can eat yam. You can eat pot boiled potato. You can eat onna. I don't know if in Indomie generation will know about onna, but I know my amazing subscribers will know about it. You can eat onna. You can eat what I am. This sauce is one in a million. So thank you so much, you guys, for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Let me concentrate and finish my food. Mm -hmm. After the after eating the food, I'll then meet you people in the comment section. You can see I'm using my hand. All local food. You don't need food. Don't need fat. <laughs> this album is effect, baby. I put on in the yard, man. <laughs> hey! We chew the water. Mm -hmm. Pure water to ruin. Eh? Get it? See, well, who you need to stop me when you're in you? Yeah, oh.